Hello! So today we're going to talk about the right glassware for wine appreciation. Now when it comes to glassware, there are three key things to remember about this. First, always choose crystal over glass. And the reason I say this is one, because crystal sparkles and so that looks that much more prettier than glass. But more importantly, crystal is also a thinner material than glass. It tends to be slimmer and thereby creating lesser barrier between you and the wine, creating a more intimate relationship for you with your wine. Especially the rim, the lip of the, of the glass in crystal tends to be much thinner, which is so important when it comes to wine appreciation. Here I have an example of a glass that I think is actually not suitable. And the reason I say this is because wine appreciation is actually about appreciating the various nuances of wine. So for example, with this wine, I'm unable to actually look through the crystal cut glass and I'm actually unable to appreciate the fine bubbles or, uh, you know, simply the color, the golden color of the wine. Look at a glass like this, something which may not have been uncommon, is something you may have seen in someone's home. Now when I try to look at this glass and I try to swirl my wine in it, I'm almost worried about spilling. So what we actually need in a glass is the shape matters. It needs to be a slightly wider bowl and needs to be tapering slightly longer, thereby allowing the wine some space to maneuver around inside the glass. Look at this as a third example. I mean, it's a good shape. But the fact is, as a glass, overall, it's very small. This is typically an ISO glass, and actually a lot of wine sommeliers use this glass for tasting. Now, whilst it may be a great glass for tasting and getting the finer nuances, it actually is unsuitable when it comes to uh, appreciation because it's not so glamorous, is it? A last example of a wine glass that may be unsuitable is something like this. If you have a look at this, this is actually not even clear glass. It's tainted, it's, it's colored, and therefore it comes in the way of you appreciating the color of wine. I would always prefer when it comes to choosing glassware, you go with something that is clear and which doesn't have any cuts, no color, nothing that comes between you and your being able to appreciate the color and the nuance of the wine. So when it comes to sparkling wines or champagne, the right kind of glass is going with a flute. This shape is called a flute and typically it's a much narrower glass which tapers up tall. What this allows is for the carbon dioxide bubbles to actually gather up towards the tip, thereby allowing you a great sensory experience. When it comes to white wines, they're slightly wider than a flute but not so wide, they're still quite tapered because when it comes to white wines, the main thing is about the freshness, the fruitiness of the wines. So they are relatively narrow as compared to a red wine glass because ultimately you want to concentrate all the fruitiness and the, and the freshness and the aromas of the wine and bring them to the top, thereby allowing you to enjoy the beauty of this white wine. Finally, when it comes to red wine, you really want a wider bowl. The reason you want a wider bowl as compared to a white wine is because red wine is all about the complexity, the various layers of fruit and oak and aging and all of that needs to actually uh, be given some room inside the glass to travel so it can aerate, it can open up and thereby allow you a, a much higher sensorial experience. So therefore this is a wider red wine glass. This is another example of a red wine glass, perfectly okay to use this. These kind of glasses, the much wider bowls are typically used for burgundy and this is used for Bordeaux, a more robust, fuller bodied sort of wines. Now by now I'm sure you're all confused, you're probably thinking how many glasswares do I really need? And if I were to really just simplify your lives, I would say just have two types of wine glasses. One is your flute for your sparkling and your champagne wines. And the other is a basic red wine glass. A glass like this will hold your white wine as beautifully as your red. If you have six glasses of these and six of these, I think you're, you've made a great foray into the world of wines. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, Sonal Holland Wine TV. And in the meantime, keep enjoying wines.